dumb but is here to entertain you. It is just so unfortunate that the moment you start making a very big and monumental name for yourself, the moment you start being an icon and the moment you start being recognized internationally, people will always have a lot of negative things to say and talk about you and of course people will do everything within their power and capacity to bring you back down to ground zero but Makadzi within just a very few years she has been in the industry has proven to us that she can stand the test of time and of of course, she has worked so hard to be where she is today. But unfortunately, Makadze of recent is in serious trouble after being hospitalized when she had a very huge fall down on stage and she hit her head so bad on the speaker. I'm about to give you all some very sad revelations about Makadze because right now I feel so bad for her. Do well to watch this video right up to the end and please watch it indifferently because a lot of shocking and disturbing news are going to be revealed. Before I give you all the entire news, Jason Vibes, you're welcome to my channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, drop a comment after watching the entire video and hit on to my post notification bell. Makadze is in a very bad situation now. In her home province of Limpompo, Makadze missed an event and is now allegedly facing legal trouble. In December of 2021, the organizers of an all-white party paid up the mic 70,000 rands to perform, but she never showed up. Law firm Paledi Event Management sent Makadze's record label a 159,000 rands demand letter in May. Many of Makadze's fans want her to respond to these claims, but she hasn't done so at all because of recent she just had a show whereby she hit her head so bad on the speaker while dancing Ganama. We all know how energetic Makadze is and of course the fall down movement was a whole catastrophe for her and she was hospitalized for a couple of days. In addition to being known for her upbeat stage performances, the 26-year-old has a number of well-known songs to her name. On her Facebook page, Makadze wrote about accidentally hitting a speaker with her head while performing and of course she even dropped a short video clip, everybody saw this and her fans were very much in tears. In a recent post, Makadze has been definitely accused of stealing a song from a Malibuan artist. Scrafok, a Malawian artist and musician based in South Africa has vowed to sue Makadze for stealing his song My Gear, Scrafok plans to sue her. Malawi24 interviewed Scrafok, who confirmed the news most definitely. He claimed that he feels taken advantage of by the Limpompo-born singer. I really feel so sad because if Makadze was not well known, all of these trolls could not actually be on her and we know fully well that Makadze is a super talented artist. Why all this at this particular point in time? People attribute it to black magic. They say Makadze is involved in black magic and that is the source of her tremendous fame of a recent. I mean, within the space of no time, she has gotten all the fan love, all the musical hits and all the awards in the nation and internationally. Remember, she just got an Afrima, it's not even long ago, when Makadze just came into the game. Many people still find it so hard to believe that it is just her talent that brought her where she is today. I intend to file a lawsuit. Not a good idea, he remarked, of course, we're talking no other person in Scrafog. Just because she's a large brand doesn't mean she's entitled to copyright protection. I'm not using Makadi to establish my name. But even if her name isn't attached to my future success, destiny will have it its way. You will tell me in the comment section what you feel about everything Makadi is going through.